and they deceive people. All right, so in another way, uh, Esau is gonna try and deceive you through his project Blue Beam, all right? Cause all kinds of crazy sights in the sky, all right? But read. Say, I am Christ that shall deceive many. Mm -hmm. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. So you're gonna hear of wars and rumors of wars. And that's the period we're in right now, man. There's all kinds of wars going on. Rumors of war, all right? The biggest rumor of war right now is what? Uh, uh, the attack on Iran, which it, 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 it's inevitable. It's going to happen, but it's on the Lord's timeline. And we know once, once we enter that period, it's like Romans 13. Okay, now it's high time to wake out of sleep, for now is your salvation nearer than what you believe. So all the things are building up to uh, World War III, America's uh, last stand, or Esau's last uh, uh, stand, so to speak. All right? And he's never gonna rule again, nor is any other nation gonna rule again, all right? It's Israel's time to rule. But there's a lot of things that gotta come to America before them events take place. So we're reading them. We're looking for the signs. Go ahead. See that you be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Yeah, don't be troubled, man. This thing's about endurance. So all, be, all because there's rumors of war, you know, brothers might be getting stirred up and, you know, shaken up or whatever. Nah, you, you gotta, that, that means you gotta go even harder now. Now we're even closer. All right? Go ahead. For nation shall rise against nation. Those are race rights. In kingdom against kingdom. Yep. And there shall be famines and pestilence. And a good example of kingdom kingdom, excuse me, against kingdom is what? China's trying to get rid of uh, 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 America's petrodollar. Alright? So Yeah. Everyone's trying to get uh, uh, basically stop doing dealings with, with America as much as possible, man. So these countries that were once um, basically backing America up are now trying to cut America off, all right? And to stop doing dealings with them all together. So that's kingdom against kingdom, all right? There shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Exactly, but this is just the beginning of sorrows, right? How many earthquakes have we had within the last year? Numerous, man. I can't even name them all. All you gotta do is look up earthquakes of 2011, 2012. All right, the number has significantly increased. We're talking about places that haven't had earthquakes in centuries. All of a sudden got hit with the earthquake bigger than they've ever seen before. And that was one of the major signs that the Mosai said to look, look to upon uh, Yahweh Shai's second return. Read that last part again. The last verse that you just read. And there shall be famines and pestilence. And pestilence, all right? Now, uh, this brother might be able to speak on it a little bit more than I can, but I remember not too long ago, previously, earlier in the year, we were having, uh, what, droughts? Uh, the bees uh, uh, weren't uh, coming to the, oh, like, pollinate yeah. the flowers and they all that. They pollinate the flowers, yeah, which uh, they were saying that was a big effect because if the bees ain't pollinating the flowers, you know, basically the, 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 the plant or whatever dies, okay? I mean, they, they were very, really lacking. The bees weren't, there was, they were lacking in bees. Not only that, the bees just were not pollinating the, uh, the plants. And then it said pestilence. And then, oh, it's not good, but they also had uh, what was called the whooping cough. The whooping cough was the worst, worst it's ever been. In, uh, in decades or something like that. They said the last time it was this bad was back in like 19, you know, 40s or whatever like that, back then. Yeah, what, what were them uh, little bugs that was basically infesting like apartments up in New York? I can't remember. Was it bed bugs? So you, that's pestilence, man. You had all these bed bugs, all right? You got something called stink bugs, all right? They're all over the damn place, man. They're all over the damn place. Before you see one, two, 
They're like this little, just look it up, stink bug. It's like a little brown bug. They're everywhere, man. Yeah, everything's on the all, all, pestilence, disease, everything's on the increase, man. Why is it increasing? Why isn't it decreasing? Why? Because it's, it's the end of Esau, man. It's the end of this rulership. That's why these things are becoming worse and worse and worse and worse. All right? <clears throat> and it's going to continue to get worse. It's going to be so bad that what? It ain't going to just be a, a, a small famine where, uh, 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 okay, there was a tornado. All the uh, water got cleared off the shelf. There ain't going to be no fucking water, period. And the ones like Esau, okay, the ones that are in authority, it's going to be regulated anyway. The only way you're going to be able to uh, buy or sell or eat, all right, is if you take that mark. That's what they're going to tell you anyway. But I can say this, in, uh, in the movie, the book of Eli, they showed you that they actually had control of the water system. That people guarded it with guns, and if you wanted water, you had to change, trade goods for it. Now, you know, every day uh, Americans say there's like a, a tornado, right? They go running right to the grocery store and then uh, the water's cleared out, you know? They all panic. Now, what do, you, what do you think when all hell breaks loose, man? Race, everything comes like a, a domino effect. Race riots, concentration camps. Dollar falls. Okay, dollar falls. When all these things come back to back to back to back, okay, with no end, it's gonna be, just, it's just gonna be mind blowing, man, to, uh, to those that aren't protected by the Yahweh Shimei Al Shai. All right. Even us, we're gonna be amazed. All right, but we have nothing to fear because the Most High is gonna protect us, Lord willing, we endure. All these are the beginning of sorrows. And all these are just the beginning of sorrows. As you can see, these people, they have no clue. Most eyes gave them all them signs, man, and continues every single day to, to judge this place, yet they still act like there's no care in the world. Like America's still got like 10 years yet. All right, that's, that's the spirit of these people. Like America's, America's got like 10 years to go yet. So I got plenty of time to go clubbing. I got plenty of time to smoke cigarettes. I got plenty of time to smoke weed. I don't get, gotta get right, get right, right away. You know, the, the, yeah, okay, the, them things are probably gonna happen, but they're not probably gonna happen for a while yet, or not in my lifetime. So that's the spirit of the people, man. Precept. Come on, it's a second measure, uh, 6 and 22. It says, and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, and the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. Exactly, suddenly, man, at an instant, when you least expect it. Hence, why the most I said he comes as a thief. Okay? Because you don't know what time a thief in, uh, can come in. Alright? But the elect and the more side, that we're going to be prepared for that. We're going to be ready for that. Okay? We're expecting it. These people are not expecting death, chaos, and destruction, as you can see. They're not, they're not expecting it. They're not preparing themselves. Alright? These people are retarded. Excuse me. What do you got? Oh, no, that's, that's good, that's good. Isaiah 13 and uh, 2. Lift ye up a banner upon a high mountain. Yeah, lift, lift ye up a banner on the high mountain. The banner is the word. So we're telling you all the destruction that's coming before it comes. All right? Whether you hear, whether you forbear. All right? When, like, like we said earlier, we ain't going to bend your arm to try and get it. All right? If you can't get it, that's not on us. All right? Read. Lift ye up a banner upon a high mountain, exalt the voice unto them. Yep. So, it, it said, exalt the voice unto them. Under who? To the people on the streets. Under two thirds. Mainly the elect, because they're the ones that are going to take heed to the words of the Most High. Everybody else is condemned to death. Everybody else is going to partake of that destruction. Whether it be a concentration camp, whether it be dying of starvation, or say you make it through all that and a missile hits you one way, the Most High is going to destroy you. Go ahead. Shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles. 
Yeah, shake the hand so that they can go into the gates of the north. What? Those that have understanding, those that got the truth. I have commanded my sanctified ones. I have also called my mighty ones for my anger. Even them that rejoice in my highness, the noise of a multitude in the mountains, like as a, of a great people, the tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. Yeah, gathered together for what? For war. For their destruction. That's right. The Most High said that He was going to bring their device upon their own heads. What is that device? Yeah. Missiles. That's what the Most High is going to use to judge the nations, to judge Babylon. All right. To judge Esau. To judge two thirds. The Lord of Hosts must of the, the host of the battle. They come from a force. Yeah. So it's the Most High that's causing all this. 